Hello everybody, my name is Dan, and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 United States of America. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we got new technology, basically right off the bat, fantastic. So what am I wanting to do now? Well, revolution and counter-revolution makes sense, just so we can kind of maybe get started on a dark continent. We will be... Is this one of the ones where you can get it early? Mm, no. I could have sworn, like, before. I don't remember... Was it, like, um... I don't remember what series it was. But I could have sworn there was a way, like, a technology... Like, the thing was broken and that I could get a technology faster than I was supposed to. But either way, I guess we'll get revolution to counter revolution. And have, having more focus points anyway is probably a great idea anyway, so... We'll go with that. We got 7.1, so we're about points... 1.9 over, and the question for me is... At 130... Okay, well, no. I was gonna say, can I avoid a war? The answer is no, I cannot. So... First things first, bump up this, bump up military for the boats. March straight into this army. March straight into that army. And try to just... Also, did all of my allies abandon me? Yes? Well, it, de it depends. I think all of them are going to say no because I'm over the infamy limit. There they are. Traitorous, 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 yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. Also, we're Sweden and Denmark. I don't, I don't give, I don't care that much about that. But actually, how weak are my ships? Are they like 5%? Yeah, a lot of them are at 5%. That's not very good. Well, should I engage them or should I let them attack me? I guess here we'll, we'll kind of let them attack us. Where are these guys going? Are they going to move? They have no cavalry support, so we do have, like, that advantage. We also have 3,000 men over them. Okay, yeah, so you guys go there. We have 39,000 men kind of just in this general area. I don't think they're really going to do much. But Zanzibar. I mean, I'm going to have to evade them at some point as well. They're allied to uh, that guy, which I'm assuming is probably, like, one of their neighbors. Oh, no, it's this guy down here. It's just completely meaningless. Like, how many points is... 530, okay, 531 is definitely bigger than 132. Where's this all coming from? Soldiers and army, 225 brigades. That is quite a bit. I'm going to mobilize just because I don't trust the uh, the British for one second. I mean, they're not mobilized. I actually, I kind of doubt that they're going to. Okay, so yeah, they engaged us. So we're going to try to reinforce that army up there. This army is not going to move. So, let's see, 6,000, do we just have, like, a lot of infantry? Because we're losing pretty badly up here. Okay, no, so we've, we've turned that around. Where are they going to? Well, I guess there's only like, one province they can go to. So try to kill that army. You guys just kind of march up north. Uh, you guys go to here, I guess. Will you actually get there by the end of the month? No, you won't. So I'd like to get like a repair in. Yeah, we got a little bit of a repair. Okay, so now you guys can go back over here. 70 against 21 should probably be pretty easy. Okay, we're actually losing here quite badly. I could take a negative 3 penalty. Okay, well you guys can leave that. 3.7. It's bad, but it's not like the worst. And I don't see anybody else. You guys can go here. I guess you, you guys can just go stand in Panama. I don't know how that... Apparently I can't stand in Panama. I can go through Panama. I can't stand on it. And I guess that's fine. So we'll just kind of blockade that. Send over the 35 stack. You guys stand here. 15. I'm going to have you pull back. Where are they chasing us? They're not going to chase us. Okay, so they're going to take, take attrition just standing in the middle of northern Quebec. So that's fine by me. We do have troops kind of, you know, building up. I don't think Mexico's going to do anything. Apparently they have a CB. Oh, they have a CB against us because obviously we, um... We're over the infamy limit. They also have a CB against the British for some reason. I'm not too sure why. 
So that should be, you know, their army basically dead. So we're, like, they're going north. I, I don't understand why they would go north. That seems like a silly direction to go in. So we got one British transport down there. Like, I, I mean, what I need to do better this time as opposed to previous wars is I just need to, like, look. And make sure that nobody actually lands. Because that's definitely the issue that's, you know, been plaguing me in the past is just not paying attention. I do want to kill this army before it has any chance to, uh, like, regroup or anything like that. Yeah, so that guy's just going to take attrition in the, uh, the Arctic. I guess that's fine. I don't know what his real plan is there, but... Okay, once again, they could take... Let's do, like, a quick little look. We've got 23... Oh, there's a big fleet down there. Is there any way I can even reach down there fast enough? Probably not. Which is a little bit annoying, because I think they might just land troops... In Florida? If I can get my fleet down there fast enough, maybe we can do something. Also, how are they kicking my ass so much? They get a three penalty. I mean, we're winning, but, you know, barely. Okay, so I think should be taking some attrition up there. Yeah, nope, they're landing in Florida. They, they love landing in Florida, don't they? Oh, yeah, we're not going to get there nearly in time. 58 stack, that's pretty strong. But if we can sink this 22 fleet, then we're going to be in a pretty good position. The Danish are here. I don't know what they're going to do, but they are here. So we've kind of trapped these guys in Halifax. I don't know. Where are you going to go now? I think they're going to try and engage this 14 stack, so we probably are going to need to reinforce that. Okay, get these two. I want you to com no, combine and head south. You guys are also going to head south. Try to meet up with this stack. Ninth of April, 14th of April. So we can't actually get there fast enough, sadly. We well, you know, split this fleet in half. Have like a northern fleet and a southern fleet. And then maybe try to, um, I don't really know, head them off, I guess. Where are you guys going to go? Okay, so they are going to try to engage us. How long will it take you to get there? The 1st of May. So, like, a few weeks. You guys aren't really resupplying at all, are you? Maybe they'll stop moving when we're, uh, 30th of April. So they will get us there before us, but I'm hoping that maybe now that we've kind of matched up with them, so they're taking a negative one penalty. No, but even then, like, what's, what's British military tech at? 15. I don't think we're at 15, are we? No, we're at 11. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, we're not... We're not doing very, very well. And I wanted to take this middle territory. But actually, I don't think I can, because that's the same promise as the... Uh, actually, I can't take the one I want. So I guess we're going to take, like, the northern one, which is Kenya. Not just by war. We do have the war. Just a clear war. Like, we've, we've done it, so let's just do it. I was going to say, can we get our troops over there? But no. Also, landed 51 troops in Haiti, but that's fine. I mean, I don't think they can really do much in the south. Where are they going? Where are these 45,000 men going? Okay, you guys go take care of this eight. I want you guys to come down here. Maybe try to deal with this, um... That fleet down to the south? I don't understand why my troops aren't just, like, not supplying well. They marched all the way up to New York City to fight my army. 
to me, that seems a little bit... Am I really going to lose this battle up here as well? You know, we are patriots. I really need military technology, don't I? No, stop selecting that. Okay, I think we're winning up there. We're definitely going to lose this battle, so you guys, like, leave. 4.2. Very not good at this game, am I? Oh, yeah, and they're attacking us up here. Okay, well... Whenever we can leave, we're going to. We just keep sending more and more troops into New York. I mean, I'm not even doing it. It's just a rally point that's doing it. Point seven. I mean, it's fine. I mean, they're chasing us down, which is a little bit annoying. I hate the British. I think more than anything. I don't like Britain. Which might be a harsh thing to say. Like, what are, what are, what are your ships? I mean, I do have a lot of them, but I, th I think... 1.3, fantastic. They're going to Long Island, I think, so I guess we're just going to chase them down. Uh, Brazil! You're going to join my sphere. Thank you. Am I going to... Uh, 14, 14, 14. But 104, I think... It's a numbers game unless I lose all my ships. I mean, most of them are actually, like, super, super weak. So I guess it's not too surprising. Unless the numbers have lied to me. Unless that one guy in red lied to me about how this actually works. When can I retreat? We get closer by 19. I don't know what the hell that means, but apparently we can do it now. 5.3. It, it's, it is looking bad for us. I will admit. I think we just need more repairs. Are any of my guys like good? Oh, you're a plus 4 attack general. And I'm hoping that's enough to make some sort of progress. We have actually a decent amount of men. How did they retreat north? That doesn't even make any sense. Okay, so we have a small, like, decent army up here. We have 15. So these guys, uh, yeah, you're going to basically fall back and hang out down here. 27, march north. 30, march north. New York's kind of just kind of a mess right now. Okay, so you guys go kill that three. We have a 61 stack of troops. Like, it's the British, man. No, don't, don't go there. Don't walk onto the boats. Just hang it on these hills. 1.5. Battle of blue fields. Oh, that's, that's here. I'm really amazed by how bad I am. No, you guys just keep chasing that British army. A negative four penalty. Uh, religion's not a political issue. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, how, how much? What's my digging max? Oh, I actually have like no digging. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Oh dear. Well, this army's completely dead. Where are you going up here, I think? I mean, we don't have any cannons or anything in most of these armies, so that is an issue. God, they, how are they still alive with 400 men? I do not know. Uh, 
And my ships just do not heal. And I don't know why. Like, am I just not getting the supplies I need to repair them? Maybe I'm just not... Maybe I'm not importing anything. Maybe that's my issue. Okay, yeah, so you guys go here. You guys march here. Killer one ironclad. He's definitely going to save the day. Can they get through Panama? I'm actually not too sure. If they can, that's definitely an issue for that southern army. They just have such huge digging bonuses. Really, I really hate the British. Are any of you good? Plus one. They did just move, so I don't think they should have much dig in penalty or bonus. Yeah, they only have a negative one. Which isn't much. So hopefully that army can die. Expedition to the Black Hills. Oh, that sounds fun. What's that do? 1.1 prestige, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely stupid of me to attack an army that's been sitting there for however long it's been. Because basically, if an army's been standing in a province for long enough, you just do not ever attack them. So this British army should be dead relatively soon. I'm going to have you guys march to here. You guys march to here. You guys march to like PEI or something, I guess. Montevideo. Where the hell is Montevideo? It's oh, it's down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I don't understand how they how can they put troops in so many different locations at once. It's a little bit crazy. Men for the colonies? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um. I want you guys to kind of hang out back. Yeah, so you got just go finish off those British troops. Thank you. And when this 18 stack moves, that's when they're done for. It's whenever they eventually decide to, like, not stand still. So much war exhaustion am I taking in right now? Uh, Occupy 2. Eh, 2.2. It's, it's pretty bad, but it could be worse. I'm not even doing my original goal, war goal of taking over Kenya either. Um, do I have any troops that I can really spare to send halfway across the world to Kenya? Can I even get to Kenya? I'm kind of feeling that the answer to that question is no. The bats are insulted. Humiliate King... No, we're going to get one prestige. I don't have any... Is this the United Kingdom of Italy? No, it's just the Kingdom of Italy. Eh, it's fine. Where are you going? You're going to Fort Mackenzie now. How's this guy got eight points? That's pretty bad. Uh, so which one of you's moving? You are. Okay, so get rid of you. Okay, so yeah, you guys go here. You go here. Yeah, there's a lot of men there. There's a, there's a decent number, I will say. So what are you? Oh, you're actual infant. You're inner army. Okay. Okay, so they're attacking these troops to the north, and they're probably on oh, negative three against negative three, but they do have artillery support. No, but no matter what, I'm, I'm just going to keep losing. Now I'm actually losing worse. 
That's not very good, is it? Uh, these 24,000 men, I guess, can kind of just hang out. These 6,000. How about you go reinforce these guys? Because why not? But I do think this could be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not, you're really close, thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.